What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Dr. Miranda Previews. I'm Magic with the Racing Dudes, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Dr. Miranda. How are you today? I'm doing good. I have a different kind of ponytail in today. <laughs> Hoping it brings me luck. I got my Phillies shirt on because we're talking about the Phillies on the turf. So I'm ready to go. Boom. So today we're going to be looking at the Diana Stakes, which is always one of my favorite events at Saratoga. This is going to be on Sunday, race eight, the last, second to last race on their card. This is a grade one race for $500,000. A lot of people are going to be looking at Sister Charlie. She is a two-time defending champion. She's coming in off of probably one of the worst races of her career since she came to North America. And that's why she's not the favorite. You've actually got her Chad Brown stablemate rushing fall at three to two, who is one of my absolute favorite horses, is the favorite. And you're not going with either one of them. Who's your top pick in this race? Uh, I'm going with Mean Mary. Uh, the reason I'm going with Mean Mary is she's the young filly. She's gunning for these older mares. I get it. She has a lot to prove. But if you look at her buyers each race, they're getting better. And she's raced in longer races than this before. So it's not like she's going to be freaking way behind everybody. She's a pure speed horse. She's going to be out in front. I think she's going to go wire to wire. And I have a couple key facts I want to tell you guys about it, why I like her so much. Now, she beat Call Me Love by eight links in the New York Stakes, right? Call Me Love came within two links of Rushing Fall, who's the favorite, the last time out. And another thing is Luis Saez is 120 pounds, and the other two jockeys are 124 pounds. Now, you may think, oh, four pounds, that's not a lot. But I'm telling you, if I was running a race around a track, I'd rather have a backpack of four pounds versus eight pounds. Uh, but yeah, I think she's going to be on top. Uh, but I want to talk about Sister Charlie just a little bit before we get into anything else. Now, everybody's been bad-mouthing Sister Charlie. Like, she's done. She's over with. She's done with racing. Uh, yes, she lost two back-to-back -back races. But let, let's listen here. She went from New York to California on a track she'd never raced on before. And she lost by two lengths. Two lengths. It's not like she got romped. And the last time out, she lost by a length after a nine-month layoff. Like, she's still got it in her. I think she's going to bounce back, and that's why I think she's going to get second in this race. And getting third is going to be rushing fall. Uh, she's the favorite. I get it. She's in great form. She's a spectacular horse. But, I mean, I just don't think this is her race. She hasn't raced this length since the last Diana Stakes, where she lost to her stablemate sister, Charlie. So with that, I'm going with Mean Mary, Sister Charlie, and rushing fall. Breaking my heart, kid. No, that's... Listen, it's such a stacked race, right? Because I mean, yeah. you, we haven't even talked about Starship Jubilee, who's won four, four of her races, four of her six races at this distance. Uh, we didn't talk about the one horse. Well, you talked about Call Me Love, who was beaten. But yeah. if you take out the New York Stakes, her other two races, she finished second behind Rushing Falls Starship Jubilee. There's plenty of talent in this race. It, it, if you were playing like a pick three, pick four, pick five, would you just hit the all button here? I would. I mean, because you can't discount any of them. They're so good. Like you said, Starship Jubilee, she's won seven stakes races in the last year. The only thing I don't like about her, though, is that she has a new jockey. She has Jose Ortiz on top of her, so it kind of changes things a little bit. That's why I didn't put her on top. Perfect. So give us your final best bets of the uh, Diana Stakes on Sunday, Saratoga. Okay. So I would do a win bet on Mean Mary, and then I would box an exacta uh, Mean Mary, Sister Charlie, and Rushing Fall. In exacta and trifecta. Perfect. Um, Dr. Amanda, thank you as always for joining me for these previews. And go ahead and tell people where they can find you for all of your thoughts and your picks on horse racing. At Miranda Buggy. Perfect. Thank you as always, everybody who's been following along and watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll be back next weekend with another episode of Dr. Miranda. Until then, we'll see you next time.